Hi everyone, I have some math today that will help you all walk through a budgeting case study. All right, so let's check this out. We have an individual that is bringing in about $70,800 a year. Whatever it is they're doing, that's what they're able to earn. And they do this, they keep doing whatever they're doing for about five years. Over the course of five years, that individual will bring in $354,000, all right? Their first expense is probably going to be their taxes. Taxes for a person in this um, income range would probably equal out to $120,360 over five years. Remember, we're talking about a five-year time period. All right, let's say this person also paid rent in a metropolitan city. They're looking at about $65,000 a year in, or over the course of five years in rent. Then they have any debt that they have to pay back. This could be student loans. This could be a brand new car. This could be um, a mortgage payment for a small um, condo. This could be any any type of um, debt that you may incur. It could be about, let's say, $55,000. Then you also get the cost of transportation to get around or the cost of travel or the cost of your lifestyle. $32,000 over the course of five years. That takes that $354,000 that they initially brought in and brings it down to $81,640 over the course of five years. Big jump from $300,000 to $81,000. And that's after paying taxes, living expenses, like your rent, your housing, any insurances, things like that, those type of essential products, all right? You, you end up with about $81,000, $81,640, all right? So breaking that down, you could see where bringing in $70,800, you're gonna only look to keep maybe $16,328 a year. So now every every single month, you're looking where you're actually bringing in $1,360 a month. That's $340 a week. That's $50 a day. $50 a day. $70,800, $50 a day. So if we walk back into it, we wanna think, with this type of annual income, we want to be sure that depending on what obligations we have and the time period that we're working with for our building or our accumulation, whatever your focus is, what that actually equals out after you pay some essential bills and you budget that out by year, month, week, and the day. Have a good day, everyone. Let me know if you have questions about this.